Hello everyone! This time I want to show you guys the gadgets that I use for recording um, most of my YouTube videos. Some of you guys are curious about the cameras that I use, the lenses, the tripods, and sort of the specific gear that I have. First off for the camera that I use, I use a Fujifilm X-T100. I've been using an X-A3 but I recently upgraded to the X-T100 which is kind of the middle ground between the X-A5 and the X-T20. It has a good flip out screen that goes sideways instead of upwards and it's better for vloggers because if you want to put a mic on the hot shoe you can still see the screen without obstruction it has 4k capabilities of 15 frames per second so if you want to do slow-mo or if you want to do just awesome 4k shots you can have the option it also looks a lot sleeker than the xa3 it comes in three colors champagne gold chrome and black I got the champagne gold because it looks closer to the silver than the chrome does and it looks good with the lenses that I have. The X-T100 is also a touch screen that's very convenient for me when I am on the go and I'm trying to focus on something uh, that's moving so I can keep just tracking the focus with my fingers. I use a couple of uh, Fuji lenses from the X series for the X-T100. I'm currently using the 35mm with a, an aperture of 1.4. I really love this lens because it's tiny. It's a prime lens so you just have to distance yourself from the subject but otherwise it's so great. It's lightweight, um, very handy whenever I am leaving the house. Usually I have that on. I recently got a 16mm 1.4. I used that for Japan. It can capture a lot of your landscape because it's a wide lens but you can also shoot lots of good portrait stuff because of the wide aperture. I also have a 10 to 24 mm with an aperture of 4. I just want like a wider option than the 16 so I have the 10 to 24. And I also have a 55 to 200 zoom lens. Uh, I use that for when I tried to capture the blood red moon um, and like certain stuff where you need a lot of zooming capabilities like for example you're in a zoo and you're trying to shoot animals or um stuff like that like if you need to cover distance without um going too close then it's a good option for a zoom lens and i also have the kit lens that came with the xt100 which is quite remarkable in itself it's a 15 to 45 mm 3.5 to 5.6 and it kind of lies a bit flatter than the 16 to 50 kit lens that the X-A3 and the X-A2 used to have. It gives you a wide range of, of shots and it's best I find for vlogging because the autofocus is also very quick. The 15 just fits you in frame even if you're just holding it like that. Then I also use a Fujifilm mic that I attach to the hot shoe. It's just better to have an external microphone that you can use for your vlogs. It's just a lot more professional that way. And also it comes with foam. It automatically softens the wind or the air or the noise that is around you when you're recording a video. Aside from the Fuji SD1 microphone, I also have a zoom mic when I'm recording my covers or when I'm recording like music stuff. I just attach it to my Gorillapod or like any small tripod that I have or just prop it on the table or anywhere near me. It has four channels. I'm using the Zoom H4n uh, and you can plug in XLR or PL cables into the two channels and then there are two microphones. I also have the Audio-Technica mic. It's the AT2020 USB mic and I've had that since maybe five years ago and I just use that when I'm recording on the computer or when I've done a cover or a live music video. I just plug in my USB mic to my computer and just sing harmonies through that. Then I have tripods. I mainly use three. I have the Velbon tripod, which is the, the main tripod that I use. It's a regular tripod, a floor mount one. It extends to a good height, which I find very convenient because I bought a cheaper tripod in Green Hills like a few years ago and I found that I had to put books underneath the legs of the tripod. So this Velbon tripod, which I got from Big Camera in Japan, I find that that suits my needs perfectly. I also have a Joby Gorillapod. It's like a medium-sized one. I 
have used that for a couple of years now because it's very portable I don't feel too bad bringing it everywhere because it's so rugged looking already the height of it is very adjustable because the legs are bendy and you could wrap it around a pole or a table or what have you and adjust it and make it as stable as you want and I keep it in my backpack so it's a bit scratched already and recently I got a Manfrotto a white one which looks beautiful and I got that because Manfrotto's are more stable because the Joby you have to like straighten all the legs but with a Manfrotto you just pop it open and you prop it on a table and you're good to go. The Manfrotto that I have has extendable legs as well and you can lock it and also it's white and it just looks really really nice so I bought it. If you don't have a tripod, you can use the method that I used to do or I still do to this day. I just put my camera or set my camera on any flat surface. Sometimes not even flat, but just any surface that's stable enough to hold your camera and just put it there as long as your frame captures what you want. You can use boxes, you can use a stack of books, you can use a shelf that you have. Just make sure that it's not gonna fall off. For cases, I like keeping my cameras and lenses in padded or foam bags. I have a low pro meant for action cameras actually, but I like using it because the dividers are adjustable. I could put in my camera body and dismount the lens and adjust the dividers so it fits the pieces snugly and the parts don't move around inside my bag. The low pro case has compartments for SD cards, extra batteries, wires, chargers, and what have you. So I really love that. But recently, I got a foam case for my Fuji, especially when I'm bringing it around the 16mm or lenses that are longer than the 35 or my kit. And it just protects the body of it and also i bought just for fun uh, a strap that's really nice i ditched the fuji film black strap i just like having color in my camera so i bought like a blue floral strap which kind of matches the alice in wonderland case that i bought I have at home like a black general organizer for stuff. My manager Jamie actually gifted this to me. You can actually move around the divider so you can customize the size of the stuff that you're putting inside. But I keep my all my lenses there, my lens hoods, my caps, and my Instax square and Instax wide inside. It fits everything very, very effectively. And I really love it because it's all in one place and if I have the need to bring everything with me i can just take the bag and leave for monitoring sound i have generic headphones they're akg but i use whatever um i also use earphones whatever earphones i have lying around the house so whenever you see me doing covers or live acoustic versions of my songs these are the gadgets that i love to use I guess throw in a couple of SD cards. I usually buy the 64 gig. You will find that it's a hassle to keep switching out your memory cards, especially if you have an 8 gig. I'm actually using just an 8 gig right now because I haven't emptied out my 64 gig. And we've already cycled through two SD cards of that because I'm lazy. And I have this mini SD card case I bought from Japan and it just holds four, but there are bigger ones that can hold more. So yeah, that's it. Those are the gadgets that I've been using. I hope this has been useful to you. Please do subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to 100k before the year ends. Hopefully it happens. And you can also click the bell next to the subscribe button so you can get notified of any videos that I upload as soon as I upload them. And you can watch them and binge watch them and tell your friends about it and stuff. And I'd like to give a shout out to my patrons on Patreon. They are making this dream of mine happen with their donations every month if you're interested in becoming my patron and supporting what i do on youtube and my songwriting go to patreon.com slash and you can choose to pledge whatever amount you want per month and that will go a long way in supporting my art in my creative endeavor and thank you so much uh, for joining me and for any questions you can just leave them down in the comment section below and i'll try my best to answer whatever you guys are interested in knowing so thank you so much